In this tutorial, we are going to see how to implement an ASP.NET Core 3.1 based web application having AngularJS frontend and PostgreSQL as database layer. And we are going to use identity server to have authentication and authorization of the users. So without further ado, let's get started. To proceed with our tutorial, First, we need to gain access to PostgreSQL database. So we either need to gain the connection string from the cloud instance of database or either you can install the PostgreSQL database on your Windows PC or Linux or Mac. For that, I have already made a video on how to install PostgreSQL on your Windows PC. For that, you just have to go through the link mentioned in the description. You can always get the latest version of Postgres by visiting postgresql.org and in the download section which I am on the page so you can always uh, install for the latest version if you are having a Windows PC click on the Windows link here the latest PostgreSQL version available as of today is 12 download the installer and go on with the installation so once you are having a successful installation launch the PG admin here I am on the PG admin screen if you expand this servers node you can see the postgresql version 12 which i have installed on my pc under the databases node if you expand you will see the default postgresql and also postgis 30 sample database which i have installed just be sure that uh, the final database which will be created as a part of migration will be appearing here under the databases node once you have the access to the postgresql database let's move on to visual studio and create a new project before you launch Visual Studio, ensure that you have got the latest .NET Core 3.1 version. For that, open the Visual Studio installer and update the installer. Ensure that you are on at least 16.4.0 or 16.4.1 which I have installed on my PC. Now I have launched Visual Studio 2019. So now we will create an ASP.NET Core 3.1 Angular application with individual user accounts enabled. From the Get Started section, select the option to create new project. Look for and select ASP.NET Core web application and click on Next to proceed. Give project name and location of your choice. For example, name the project ASP.NET Code 31 Angular PostgreSQL Identity Server and click Create. In the Create a new ASP.NET Core Web Application step, choose the Angular template because we want our application to have an Angular based frontend. Now in the right pane, click on Change Hyperlink under authentication that involves migration schema that will generate tables for users roles claims and logins etc and click on ok now click on create now this template configuration will generate all the code related to authentication that involves migration schema that will generate tables for users roles claims logins etc the template also has angular screens automatically generated for register login forgot password login menu and all authenticated user related screens this scaffolded template eases the developer to focus on the application functionality rather than setting the user authentication from the scratch as the default database this template is configured to work with is ms sql we want to change this to work with postgresql for that delete the migrations directory which is located under data directory so right click on this and click on delete also update the default connection string present in appsettings.json open the appsettings.json file update the default connection string to point to our local or remote postgresql database for local postgresql server the connection string goes like capital s in server equals to 
लोकल होस्ट कैपिटल पी इन पोर्ट इक्वल्स टू फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंश्योर दैट द पोर्ट यू हैव कॉन्फिगर टू रन दिस पोस्ट इज फाइव फोर थ्री टू फॉर मी द डिफॉल्ट इज फाइव फोर थ्री टू विच आई हैव चोजन ड्यूरिंग द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पोस्ट क्रेस क्यूर इफ यू हैव चेंज दिस एंश्योर दैट यू रिफ्लेक्ट दैट पोर्ट नंबर हियर इन द कनेक्शन स्ट्रीम एंड देन फॉलोड बाई कैपिटल डी इन डेटा बेस इक्वल्स टू the name of the database that we want to create and migrate all this identity server related sql scripts to if you do not have created any postgresql database in your instance of postgresql server then no worries because whatever the name you give here with that name of the database a new database will be created in your postgresql server for the demonstration purpose i'll be giving aspnet membership and then followed by user id equals to postgres the user id is the name of the user that you have configured during the installation of postgres and the password that you have configured during the installation of postgres to gain access to the postgresql server password equals to the super secret password you have given save this app settings.json file close now we will remove the reference to the microsoft entity framework core sql server which is located under dependencies packages node right click on this and remove and click on okay now we will install postgresql package for entity framework code to do that right click on the project in the solution explorer click on manage nuget packages this will open up a window to manage the nuget packages for our project navigate to the browse menu search for npg sql entity framework code dot postgresql choose the latest stable version 3.1 and install click on okay for the preview changes prompt wait for the installer to complete installing npg sql dot entity framework code dot postgresql package all right now we see that the installation has been successfully done ensure that all the related packages are up to date and mark 3.1 because they will be in compatibility with dotnet code version 3.1 in order for your application to run smooth now open startup.cs file and under the configure services method replace use sql server with use npg sql in order for our application to talk to the postgresql database also change the lambda function false this is because just in development environment we don't really need user to confirm his account in order for login but be sure to revert this setting to true again once you deploy this to the production environment and have an smtp configured properly this will allow the user to confirm their account through their registered email address before they can log into the website now we will update the malforms.cs project file so double click on the solution file and scroll further and find this double dash repeated here and remove them along with the space do this for this line as well now install the angular cli for that in the search box at the top of the ide type developer command prompt and open it it will open up a command prompt with the current directory defaulted to the project's root directory now set the current directory to client app with the command cd space client app and hit enter then run the command npm space install space double dash say dash dev space at the rate angular slash cli at the rate latest and hit on enter this will install the latest version of angular cli and saves it as dev dependency in the package.json located in the client app directory 
So let's see the progress of the installation. So this will take a while. Okay, now that the Angular CLI has been successfully installed, let's verify our installation by opening the package.json file under client app. And if you look at the dev dependencies, you will find the latest version of Angular CLI that has been installed. At the time of making this video, the latest version is 8.3.20. Now we will add migration steps. The migration will generate the PostgreSQL based migration schema. For that, open the package manager console by navigating to tools under NuGet package manager. Click on package manager console. To add a migration, type in the command add hyphen migration space the name of the migration you wish to name this for the demonstration purpose i will be giving postgres sql identity schema it on enter observe the migration folder will be generated here in the solution explorer before adding the migration scripts the project will be built and then the necessary migration schema related to entity framework code will be added under the migrations directory. The migration scripts are generated only once because those will contain the schema. Unless you add or remove any schema related to the database, like addition of a new column to a table or adding a primary or foreign key to a column, then you always need to regenerate this migration schema and then update the database. Okay, the migration folder has been created successfully here. This will contain all the migration scripts related to ASP.NET membership that is dependent on PostgreSQL database schema. Now that we have migration schema with ASP.NET Core 3.1 authentication auto-generated for PostgreSQL, let's create our new database ASP.NET membership to have the tables created related to authentication for that in the package manager console run the command update hyphen database but before that let me open the postgresql server and ensure that the new database that we are going to create is still not there once we run the command update database we should see the new database here let's switch back to the package manager console in visual studio and enter the command has started building the solution one more time before it could write up all the SQL schema to our PostgreSQL database based on the connection string that we have given in appsetting.json. Okay, the build succeeded. The update database process has been successfully completed. Now let's switch back to the PostgreSQL server and refresh. We should see the new created database ASP.NET membership. Now let's expand this node and under the schemas, under the public node, you will find the table where all the ASP.NET membership related tables will be generated. Here you can see the ASP.NET user. All this schema is based on the identity server 4. This is the latest version of identity server that comes along with ASP.NET Core 3.1. We are successfully able to set up the PostgreSQL as a database for ASP.NET Core 3.1 membership based web application that has AngularJS as a front end. Let's go ahead in the menu, click on build and then select build solution. The build succeeded. We will run the application by hitting the IIS Express button that appears just below the menu section. Click on it. Okay, the application has been successfully launched. Now, let us access unauthenticated page. The counter is an authenticated page. The user who has not registered also can access this page. Here you can see, as I have not logged in it, I can still access the page. Fetch data is the authenticated page wherein only registered users of the application can access. Now, if I click on fetch data without registering or logging into this application, it will redirect me to either login or registration page. So let me click on fetch data and it will check for 
the authentication token as I am not actually registered with the application it has redirected me to log into this application as I am a first time user I do not have account with this website I will go ahead and register as a new user I will give the email here and the password here confirm password click on register as we have set up in the startup.cs file the new registered user does not actually require to confirm their account this will help us to automatically log into the application without having our email to be confirmed click on register as i have successfully logged into the application i can see my registered email id i will also be able to access weather forecast which is actually available for the registered users only let me navigate back to the home counter page fetch data page so i can see the authenticated data from the weather forecast menu so let me click on my username i will be navigated to the manage account page wherein i will be able to set the phone number change the email id or resend the verification email as i do not have any smtp configured i am leaving it as is these are all the features that comes pre-built with identity server 4 and asp.net code 3.1 our final step is to check out the registered user in the database for that let us navigate back to the pg admin and in the databases in the new database that has been generated as a part of the migrations navigate to the schemas node under the tables expand and find for asp.net users right click on it and view data all rows you should see the new user that has been registered with the application you can see the new user that has been registered with the application is myself and it is appearing here congratulations you have successfully able to configure your asp.net code 3.1 angular based web application with postgresql as database and identity server 4 if you found this video useful please give it a like please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and techies and colleagues thank you